हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर चांदनी असवाल आई वेलकम यू अगेन सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस द क्रिएशन ऑफ ग्रुप एंड लेजर सो दो मिस दैट सेशन दे कैन वॉच इट ऑन द सेम चैनल इन टूडे सेशन वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग हाउ टू सेटअप अ स्टॉक ग्रुप्स इन टेली प्राइम विच इज़ वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इन्वेंट्री कैटेगराइजेशन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट इन टेली प्राइम so inventory management is a complex process and that generally phase when we are dealing with a variety of stock items so terry prime helps us in streamlining this process through the various stock group so this group allow us to categorize our stock and making it very easier to track report and also also assign various pricing now under the inventory management we have various group also now that is the stock group so stock group that is used for the categorization purpose so this is categorization for the inventory item so we can group the similar item together and we can create a some structure that can helps in improving the tracking of the stock for example let's suppose if there is a one business person who is dealing with the electronic item so in that case he can create a stock group like laptops mobile phone and this is the primary group and this we can say this is a major inventory that they are dealing with now if we talk about the benefit it's a very easy to categorize or very very easy to uh, grouping the various stock together now there are two types of stock group that is the primary group and the sub group so primary group that basically represent the top level classification of the stock item on the other hand the sub group which is further used to categorize the items under a parent group so this primary group we also called it parent group and this sub group can be created under the primary group now there are various component of inventory information while we create a uh, stock group so first is stock group this is for the categorization purpose for example like the uh, if we have in any retail business the stock group can be like uh, electronic clothing or furniture etc and uh, then we have the stock category so this stock category is basically the similar uh, like we can facilitate the grouping of the various stock then we have a stock item so this is are the actual product or the raw material that need to be tracked individually and uh, the unit of measure is very much important here we have to define the units in which your stock is measured so it can be measured in pieces in liters kilogram and so on then we have a go down and the location so basically go down and the location helps us in uh, tracking with whether your product is in warehouses or different branches of your business so it basically helps in tracking the physical storage of a stock now these are the steps we need to follow for creating a stock groups so we have to go to the category of uh, gateway of tele and then we have to go to the inventory information under the inventory information we have to select the group and then we can create any group and under the group name we, we can uh, as i have already told you this group can be the parent group or we can say it is a primary group so if there is no other uh, sub group is there so we can click on the on the parent group or the primary group only and then we have to save this information so in this way we can create a stock group in tele prime now let's understand how do we create a stock group in tele prime so let me open a tele software so here i have created the company with the name of stock so first of all i need to set stock units which is a very important part if i go to the create option here we can see the stock group creation option is visible under the head inventory master so under the inventory master the first uh, we need to set the unit this i have already explained the what is it mean so in the unit we have to set whether we are going to measure in pieces units and so on so let's suppose i want to measure it unit so here i am writing it units formal name it should not be same so i you can set or you can symbol you can you can use here the that is the u and t on the other hand here you can write the unit that can be the one of the option then under unique quantity code you can see there are so many units are visible right so here we can select i have choose unit so i need to select this unit one and this you can skip for a time being and i need to save this information if i go back so in this i have set the unit the next thing let's suppose i want to create a stock group 
right so let's say there is a business person who are dealing with the electronic items right so under the electronic items they have dealing with a different types of product let's say a uh, refrigerator let's say mobile phone so if you click on the stock group so first group i want to create that is the refrigerator then and obviously it should be in the primary group so i need to click on it then i need to save this information then another group i want to create let's say mobile phone and this is again under the primary one so i am just skipping this information and in this way i have created two groups that is the refrigerator and the mobile phone now the next is we need to create a stock item so under the refrigerator there might be a possibility the business person is selling a different brands of refrigerator in the same way different brands of mobile phone so either we can create one by one that by going to the stock item option or we can create a uh, multiple items under a one go so for the multiple creation we can go to the charts of accounts so under the charts of account we will find this stock item option if you see on the right hand side there is a option of multi master and you can see here this two groups i have already created it is visible here so let me create a stock items so if you go to the multi master then you have to select the multi create and this window will appear so here you have to provide the name of item so let's suppose the first item i want to create let's say lg refrigerator so this is window it will ask under which group you want to create so let's suppose i want to create under the refrigerator because it's a refrigerator brand only then you can see the unit is also visible let's me write some quantity let's say 50 and the price is let's say 68000 so you can see here when you press enter the amount is automatically calculated now if you enter let me enter the another uh, say the mobile category item so let's say i am writing mi mobile phone so this have to be created under the mobile phone category again we have to select the unit let's say the quantity is 40 and the price is let's say 35000 so here it is calculated now another if i create one more group let me create let's say uh, apple mobile phone so this is again under the mobile phone only i need to select the units let's say quantity is 30 and price is let's say 89000 so you can see here i have created three groups two items under the mobile phone one item under the refrigerator in this way we can create n number of items in a one go by going to the multi stock item now if we have to alter some items we can do that by going to the alter option and uh, we have to save this information by pressing the enter we have to accept the information so thank you everyone in this way we can create a stock group and stock item in teleprime thank you